Hey, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Natural and welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, for today's video, I got something a little different for you guys. I was actually uh, fortunate enough to have the opportunity to play the Infinite, Halo Infinite PvP flight that happened this past weekend. And for today's video, I just want to share my uh, final, you know, first impressions and also give a little review on what I thought about the game and, and things that 343 can address. And hopefully someone from 343 can, you know, watch this video or, you know, people can share this video so that overall the game can improve. And with that being said, I'm just getting right into it for my initial thoughts. And so uh, for my initial thoughts about the game, overall, I felt the game just has a great solid foundation. And what do I mean by that? So visually, the game is, is top notch. I, when I looked at my Spartan, I was just taken away, especially on the Xbox Series X. There aren't too many games that look really good, especially with War, you know, Warzone. That game doesn't really look that great. And even Call of Duty Vanguard, baby, that, that game just looked trash in my opinion. But, you know, this game was just visually appealing and you just felt immersed into the world. And and I can't wait to see all the other uh, things that they show within the Halo universe in this game because it just looks so good. And and so that really added to the foundation. I mean, graphically top notch. Uh, and then also the game had an old school feel with modernized mechanics. The sprint felt good. The slide felt good. And especially coming from Halo 5, where I know a lot of people hated the advanced movement and the thrusters, uh, you know, coming into this, it just felt good. Like, it, it really felt like a Halo at heart, uh, even with those modernized mechanics. And a lot of games, I mean, if you're making an FPS, you need those mechanics. It's just it, it's just a popular feature. I, I like them. Uh, and if I played an SP, FPS that doesn't, like, I know for Rainbow Six Siege, I understand it's a little bit more tactical, but you want to feel like a you just want to feel like absolute unit let's be honest i mean you don't want to feel like you got bricks on your feet like you can't move um and and maybe you know maybe games kind of maybe that's a bad thing i guess games did but hey we love it and, and i think that they felt great in the game and just overall the game just feels good it really just feels good so really hats off to the 343 team for having the game in this state uh and continuing to make it better so going into the first topic that I want to bring up uh, and address the elephant in the room is the matchmaking system, uh, and specifically with the SBMM. Uh, right now, I really can't tell if it's in the game. Uh, there were a lot of games where I was just pub stopping consistently. I mean, I'd have games where it'd be a little harder, uh, but overall, you know, I, I really couldn't tell. I think if anything, there's more of a team balance to the game because a lot of times I would be on the top, and man, my team would just be trash and. And, uh, you know, like I had games where I would go like 17-1, 21-7, 20-6. Like, like I had really good games, and my team would just be all negative or really struggling. And so I don't think there really is SBMM. I think it's more of a, a team balance. And especially with 4v4, you are going to notice how, you know, it's, it's going to be a harder game uh, just because of the nature of 4v4 in arena. Uh, and, and especially if you're coming across a, a, a solid team overall, um, I mean, it's it's going to be tough, and especially if they're all communicating, you know, it's going to feel like there is SPM. It's going to feel like they are sweaty. And guys, we also have to think too that to get into this Halo flight, you had to sign up on Halo Waypoint, and the odds are that, that you know, typical person isn't really going to do that. Uh, but the Halo vets and the sweaties and people that just love Halo and have played it all their life, they're going to do that. So. You know, you're going to come across people that know how to play Halo instead of, like, your typical noob, you know what I mean? So you have to kind of take that into consideration. Uh, all in all, I don't think there is SBMM. If anything, there's definitely a team balance. Uh, when I played solo, it, it, hands down, there was a team balance. You know, very rarely I had some good teammates. Uh, and so just kind of my thoughts. And if anything else, I'll add to the S, you know, matchmaking system. Not really so much SBMM, but uh, I think there needs to be a cross-play option to turn off. Because uh, that also, I, you know, I, I think that adds to the kind of theory of is there SBMM. Because PC players, let's be real, they're a lot better than the typical console players. And they're playing on keyboard and mouse. Uh, and, you know, they can just, you know, their aim is just great on any game. So, uh, really, if they added that, maybe that would help too to kind of make it feel uh, maybe not as sweaty. Um, so, <clears throat> all in all, that's my thoughts on the matchmaking. Moving on to the maps. All four maps, Live Fire, Bazaar, Recharge, and Behemoth. Uh, they are all solid. They play different, and the you know there's a lot of replayability to it because in the game the power weapons will switch out. So let's say on live fire, you know in the middle there's usually like one. You know, say first time you play there's a sniper in the middle. 
maybe now this time you play it there's a skewer and so i really like that they switch it up they you know makes adds a lot of replayability and there's room to be 23 maps so hopefully those are all solid as well and they put the same effort that they did into these three maps because from design wise the way they look the way they play they're all unique different and there wasn't a map that popped up where i said ah shit i really don't want to play this map so great job three for three all around and hopefully we continue to see that to, you know for, for the other maps that we get to play now moving on to the next topic that i have and this probably is going to be i guess the area where i'm gonna be the most critical of the game and so uh, it's going to be dealing with the weapons and right now with the current meta of the game it's just not satisfying at all it's basically a basically spray and pray and to me it takes less skill and and Halo has always been a game where it, it, it has taken skill i mean the, the ar i get has always been kind of a spray and pray weapon but there's always been like you get that secondary primary weapon where it takes more skill to use and and you can outplay someone that's trying to just spray and pray you and and right now it doesn't feel like you can do that the the ar is just really good it could beam any range maybe a little too overpowered i think they may need to adjust the uh the damage on it maybe you know add a damage nerf or even a range nerf i mean you can cross map people with this thing it's crazy and going on to the secondary the sidekick you know they it's the, i believe it has a faster ttk and they they're trying to market it as hey it's a precision pistol uh, you know so you get rewarded for it but Man, right now it just feels like a spam session and it doesn't feel um, like there's much skill involved with that. I mean, I guess there is, but like I said, it still feels too spammy, especially compared to the Halo 5 pistol where it really, really rewarded precision. I mean, you could just dominate people, decimate people. With, it didn't matter what they had. Um, and, and I really think that they may need to uh, address that weapon uh, specifically. I mean, maybe add, you know, make, add, you know, move up the damage on it. Instead of seven shots to kill, maybe make it six. And then also, you know, drop the rate of fire so it's not as, you know, just everyone's just spamming their trigger. Uh, it's just, you know, to me it just doesn't take skill. And, and I like skillful games. I, I like games that, uh, you know, take skill and that reward the player for having better accuracy overall. So going into the next two guns, which I'm pretty sure many of you picked up, and they are the BR and the Commando. Uh, both of these guns were very satisfying to use, specifically the BR. It, this gun was the best out of the two, uh, out of those two in that, that precision weapon category. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, in BTB, they make this a starter weapon. I think right now, as it, st as it stands currently, uh, the starter weapons for BTB are going to be AR and pistol, which is awful. Um, and so, it, 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 I really hope that they do add the BR into that mix, but we'll see next weekend. But both of those guns felt great, and and I have no complaints about those guns. Perfect in the state that they are. Going into the power weapons and pickups, there are only two guns in this area where I had issues with. The first is with the sniper. To me, it just felt too hard to use and to handle. Uh, and ultimately, I, I didn't even pick it up. I picked it up like once or twice, and maybe got a kill with it, but it just feels too hard to use. I don't know if they dropped the aim assist on it or what, but um, on controller, it's just really difficult to use, and there's no point in using it, especially with the spray meta, because you could zoom in on somebody, but, you know, with the AR, I mean, you could just cross map someone. And so they'll they'll nick you once, bring you out of the scope then. And it just it's just kind of frustrating. And, and right now, just like I said, just a little too hard to use, in my opinion. So they may need to adjust that. And then the next weapon I had a huge issue with is the gravity hammer. I, I think this thing is too easy to use. I, I get it's an up-close weapon, but you shouldn't be able to hit the ground in front of someone and still kill them. I mean... If anything, it should maybe do some damage and move them back. But I think they may need to uh, reduce the damage radius on it and make it in line to how other gravity hammers were. Uh, just just feels off right now. And so um, if they you know if they do that, I think that's going to be in a good st good state. It, I mean, it does serve a purpose, but right now it's just a little too easy to use and too too. It's just a little too cheesy right now. So uh, hopefully they address that. And if anything just address the ar and sidekick those star weapons like i said they're not satisfying to use and they really need to touch those to make them feel good uh because if they're we're going to have to use them every game i, I mean i'd really love to have like that 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 one starter weapon that we get that's just this old faithful you know halo 3 br type faithful uh magnum faithful and halo 5 you, you just you just need it. it it just makes the game better and so i hope they do that <laughs> All right, moving on to the next topic. For this, I have controller aiming, 
And really, I just want to bring this issue up. I don't know if it's just me or others are experiencing this, but aiming on controller is just clunky and just not smooth at all. It feels off. Uh, I think they need to make it more in line with how Halo MCC's aiming is or Halo 5's. Uh, really, really, I think Halo 5 would be the best bet because that aiming it just seems really good. Uh, and so, um, especially you know, when we're playing with mouse and keyboard players. They have a whole arm. It, mouse and keyboard, I'm hearing, is running great. But for controller, it just feels off. I had to adjust my settings multiple times to make it feel like a normal FPS. Um, and I really hope that they, they, you know, they address it, maybe make some improvements to it, just make it feel more natural. Uh, and so that's, that's everything I got on that one real quick. Going on to the next one, I wanted to address the battle pass. And right now, I think they are aware of the current system issues with it. And for me, the challenges, I mean, I get it, you know, that, you know, they're there to serve a purpose, but... I think you should be able to rank up your battle pass through through dress just playing the game, because if it's just by challenges, I mean challenges can be annoying. Let's be real; um, not everyone loves to do challenges, myself included. I just don't. Sometimes I just want to play and just rank up. You know, I, I don't feel like. I mean, challenges make it go faster, but sometimes, like I said, they're tedious. You don't feel like doing them, and so I think they need to adjust it to to make sure that if you just play and whatever XP you get from that game goes to your battle pass and helps to rank it up other than that uh, that's all the only issue I have with that and I think they are aware of it and hopefully they uh, make some changes and we're able to see it um, you know within hopefully maybe within this fight or maybe the next one hopefully we're able to see how they you know improve this area so last but not least the final things I want to bring up are some of the bugs and issues that I face uh, and so the first is the hit registration for some of the guns and maybe this links to the controller aiming but it just feels off sometimes uh, you know I, I just I would hit people and get the little X especially when they're one shot and to just not get anything you know just it'd be like I never even shot the bullet uh, and so I don't know if this is a server issue or, or what but they may need to you know address some of the net code to make sure that shots are are more consistent and more in line and so that uh, you know when you shoot someone they get hit and you know, you're rewarded for, for making the proper play. The next issue or bug that I had, uh, I kept getting a double reload bug, and this one would happen pretty consistently about every game, where I would reload my gun, and then I would get the full animation, get the 36, you know, reload my ammo, this full clip popped up on the bottom right, and then my guy does the animation again. And this could be so frustrating, especially when, um, you know, you reload your, your, your gun because you know the enemy's coming, and then it forces you into another reload, and it just it's annoying and so i hope they are able to address this bug uh, and then another bug that i also had with kind of just normal action is is i had one bug and this only happened once but i was trying to pick up a gun i was out of rockets and i was like oh i found it you know i found an ar and i was going to pick it up and i held x like two or three times and then i got the full in you know button circle to pick hold to pick up and nothing happened and it's i had to do it like i said two or three times before i picked up the gun and by the time I did that, someone was already on my ass, and I got dropped. So I hope they maybe could address that. This only happened once, by the way, um, and so not a big issue, but definitely something that uh, isn't good and shouldn't be in the game and can definitely be, be checked. So all good there. And the last issue that I had was specifically in the training academy. During the weapon drills, I kept getting frame drops on my Xbox Series X, and I'm not sure if it's maybe a console thing or something with the system net code, uh, but... I, I kept getting frame drops, and I play on 120 FPS, by the way. And so when you, you when you drop, you really can notice it, and it would just feel very really choppy. Uh, and so hopefully they can look into that and address that issue as well. And so overall, I think the game is in a solid state. Uh, all these problems can be resolved, and if there's any takeaway that I really want 343 to focus on, it's specifically dealing with the AR and Sidekick. Those guns just feel off. They aren't satisfying starting weapons, and they're honestly, if I were to rank them as right now compared to other Halo titles, they're the worst in the whole genre and the whole series. So they really need to look at those two guns, address them. Maybe they may even need to switch it up and maybe instead of the sidekick, maybe add a BR to just all weapons you know, scenarios and then made the sidekick a, a pickup weapon. I don't know. I, I think that would be an easy fix. Um, I would love it. Uh, it would make more skill. Um, and, and then, you know, if they did make the sidekick a pickup, then maybe they can, you know, buff it up to make it more in line with how a pickup should be. So, I don't know. 
just kind of my two cents. If anything, that's what they should focus on. Um, you know, first before the other bugs and issues. That, that's just the biggest area of concern for me. Uh, but overall, you know, solid state. And let me know your guys' thoughts and comments uh, down below. Uh, and also drop any questions that you may have about the game uh, that I may have didn't, you know, may have not covered in this video. Uh, I'd love to help you guys out, and I will be responding to each and every one. And so with that being said, um, I'm excited for weekend two of the flight, and I'll definitely be doing another review on the BTB beta and, and seeing if they made any changes or anything. So uh, with that being said, hope you guys have a blessed week, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.